I wondered if the widow had anything to do with the gallery at all. Hello? This is George Stobart. May I come up? Stobart? What are you doing here? Good grief. Is that you, Mr. Lane? Actually, I wanted to talk to you. Mr. Lane, does the name Annette mean anything to you? I have no idea what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. If you don't let me in, I'll tell the police about your interesting connection to the security company. Uh, all right, then. Come up, but make it brief. I need to talk to Madame Dubois. I'm sure it can wait. Dear Lord George, you have the worst timing. Is this a bad time to accuse you of lying? What do you want? I've just come from Vera Security. So? Tell me about Annette. Who? From Vera Security. I don't know any Annette. What do you know about the owner of Vera Security? I've never had the pleasure. I'm surprised you let your conquests keep souvenirs. Oh. Where did you get that? Annette lent it to me. Quit waving it around, for God's sake. Come on, Lane. Tell me about Annette. All right, all right. I had a fling with her, okay? Now keep your voice down, please. And you two fixed the security for the robbery? No, nothing like that. Anyway, the, the fling was a mistake. She turned out to be rather needy. I believe you. You're not a criminal. Just a lecherous old man. Less of the old, if you don't mind. As it happens, I make a lot of women happy. Especially when you leave them. Can you tell me anything about the owner of Vera? Annette told me he's some angry-looking Russian chap. Okay, Lane. Take off. You can't tell me what to do. You want me to show Bijou this picture? All right, all right, I'm going. You haven't heard the last of me, Stobart. Promise? And give me that photo. If Lane was telling the truth, that meant that Annette was lying. She said she'd never met the owner and was very keen to get rid of me. I wondered if she was hiding something interesting in that back office. Are you going to introduce yourself properly? Pleased to make your acquaintance, madame. My name's George Stobart. Call me Bijou. Hello, young man. Such a delight to have a new visitor. What can I do for you? I'm from the insurance company. I'm so sorry for your loss. Henri, my poor Sauvage, he died in his prime. Could I just ask you a few questions? Well, why not? A little company might just pep me up, as you Americans might say. Your record player seems to be stuck on the same song. Yes, this song gives me great comfort. It reminds me of Henri. Can you tell me about the gallery? Was the business doing well? The gallery was Henri's baby. He never spoke to me about it. So you weren't involved? Not at all. Business is not my thing. Henri was very brave at the gallery. He tried to stop the thief and paid the ultimate price. Henri was my lion and my little pussycat. Bijou, I think someone involved with the gallery helped the thief. 
It wasn't Hector Lane. He's not devious enough. But who is? I don't know. But I will get to the bottom of it, I promise you. How are you coping? I'm still trying to take it in, Sherry. Thank you for your help, Bijou. My pleasure, young man, to come back any time. Bijou appeared to know nothing. I still couldn't discount Lane. Annette, on the other hand, had lied about Vera's security's owner. Henri was now dressed in a cheap suit. On balance, I prefer the waistcoat. Night was falling. Annette would have left for the evening. It was time to pay a visit to Vera Security. The empty mall was lit by bright moonlight. The perfect ambiance for a little detective work. I wanted a good look at that back office. I just had to find a way in.